Uh, MD Electronic is an automotive supplier. We are producing data transmission cables for the automotive industry. More than 60 OEMs worldwide rely on MD products. In Europe, we are working with the traditional OEMs uh, from Germany, which is Volkswagen, BMW, Porsche and Mercedes. International as well, we are working with Ford, with General Motors, with Tesla. Over the last 10 years, more and more electronic systems came to the cars. And so we see nowadays more and more data transmission lines within the car. I'm Markus Kalsra and I'm expert techno-polymers at MD Electronics R&D department. At our cable connectors we often have overmoldings. Uh, overmolding is uh, when we inject in uh, plastic material in a metal mold over a cable. We use the injection molding uh, simulation to find out the right design for our connectors and also for the mold itself. The problem with the injection molding simulation is that it comes to its limits uh, when we have uh, something like flexible inserts in our cable connector housings, uh, which cannot show the real behavior of the filling of the mold. The molds which we use for the production of these parts are made out of metal. To build this mold, it takes a lot of time, for example, 12 or even 20 weeks, and of course, they are also expensive. As these iterations uh, cycles are always very time consuming, we try to find a solution to accelerate this process. When MD Electronic came to production to go, we were looking through many, many different materials tests, and what we found out is it's actually the Ceramic 3280. The Ceramic 3280 is perfect for injection molding and inserts, mainly because it can take a certain amount of beading and also an amount of temperature. When combined with the NXC400 from Nexa, you're able to actually create the perfect fusion of two technologies to create parts that are not just dependable, reliable, but also actually very durable. With 3280 material, I had the best and finest details so that we could apply high pressure without overfilling of the mold. Now that we found out that this is a capable solution for us, we can cut down the iteration cycles in the metal mold and speed up our development process. Injection molding is actually a very, very old technology. But what's quite interesting is when it's combined with 3D printing, you're actually able to create things outside the norm. Thanks to this solution, we can reduce the iteration cycle in the steel mode and get faster time to market. Nowadays it is required to have a fast solution for new data connectors. So we use the additive manufacturing technologies for providing early samples to our customers and to the engineering lab, which brings us in a better position than the competitors.